The easiest way to get an S rank on this guy is to use just grass chips. But I don't want an S rank. Well, I do, but I need a. It would be swell if I could get sub 10 seconds. I don't think I'm actually going to try for sub 10 seconds on every boss. I think I talked about doing that in Battle Network 5 GBA, but I don't remember if I actually went through with it. Press it A. Press it in, Boomer. I just need one more Windwreck. I'll quarrel 2A. Everything I can find in this map is A. Mega Man, execute! When you, got, when you want more than a sip of water but you're waiting for a block of ice to melt. That feel when... TF... W. I'm not working far. I'm feeling pretty good. I might actually use tomorrow to get some videos done. In fact, I think I will. Although I do want to play some Resident Evil 6. I should have. I should be able to find time for both. I mean, there's a lot of hours in a day. Dude, I died. I didn't just lose. I died. That's beyond not S-ranking him. Oh. Um. Fuse with this. I'm gonna grab an invis this time. I don't need this. I still absolutely need to area grab. Non-negotiable. I'm gonna whiff one of these. Right, now I need to area grab. I'm gonna invis. I need to area grab. And then I color point tornado type plus ten. Stop for a sec. Wait, that's it. Damn it, the cloud. Ah, oh, that was a lot, but it wasn't as much as it wasn't it wasn't enough. Now I have no tornado. And my thing is gone. That's Death Phoenix. It's actually not enough because he's in the back row. Stop that. I'm stuck. Alright, there we go. Fuck. You fiend. That was probably rank 8 or 9. I still did it fast. So I still need his DS chip, so that's not bad. That was, like, still necessary. But I would have liked to have the SP chip, to be 100% honest. Wait. How did you get food? Explain. Jacket, Mega Man, execute. Oh, food videos. Oh, those were gonna happen no matter what. I've always been a cooking streamer. I mean, a cooking YouTuber. Just covertly. Actually, I didn't get into cooking until pretty recently. It's not very hard, though. I was, like, pleasantly surprised on how not hard it was. But also, when I started cooking, I started getting weight. I have no self-control. 
I've got to start making things that are less bad. I slipped up. I fell. Money. The Befall from Grace. Turns out that when you put half a stick of butter into like everything you make, and then you eat like 100% of everything you make. You know. And it's healthy. I'm like amazed at how much shit, like, asks for half a stick of butter, or like a whole stick of butter. The mac and cheese used a quarter cup of butter, that's half a stick. That's like a lot. <laughs> Not gonna lie, a mac and cheese pizza looked absolutely disgusting. It was pretty tasty. It tasted like pizza. And mac and cheese. It was like everything that you would actually anticipate it to taste like. Alright, I got like a super good early loadout. This is like absolutely 100% optimal. I just need the area grab. That's like the make or break right now. I did not get an area grab. I'm actually fucked over for this. I can get the CC'd up. I blind him. First gauge, blind him. CC'd. Blind him again. Everything else I need. He's just attacking random panels. I still don't have an area grab. I don't. I can't win. I literally cannot win. I ran out of turns for... for... Charman. RP half my damage output. Invis. I needed the area grab. What did that guy mean? I wonder to this day. I still don't have an area grab. Turns out Death Phoenix is from Duel Masters. It's making like a cameo in this game. Fun fact. My C seed's long gone. There's another one. Dude, how many area gobs are in my deck? And what do I do about it? Where? I don't think I can kill him. Oh, there it is. Oh fuck. How can we like hides? Fuck. Oh no, I should I I I fucked that one up. Alright. Dude, I need more area grabs. Okay, I need I need more area grabs. The problem was my lack of area grabs. How many are in my deck? Is it one? Is it two? That like whole battle fell apart because I didn't get an area grab fast. Dude, it's literally one. I need an area grab in that fight. How did I even get it that fast on other attempts? I have one area grab. No wonder I didn't find it. Well, 
Whirlwind won't hit him. He's too far away. He's in the back. I absolutely non-negotiably have to get an area grab in order to win. I can set it as my select chip, but then I don't have full cuss as my select chip. I need more area grabs. <coughs> virus. It was a virus. I didn't realize I was flowing on the skin of my teeth fucking the first two battles. Grassy day. I found it three times in a row and now I've been like unable to find it. Kinda of blows. Oh there it is. Alright, we got all four. Um I wanna find him again, but like I really wanna find more area grabs. Supposedly you can find them on Oran Isle. Area grab star is insanely rare. I'm gonna like see how fast I can do this and then make an assessment on whether I care. Pro tip, probably not. So on our Isle, there's actually a chip, chip trader. And this chip trader begin trading with an eye, with two eyes. Oh, you can put in a whole bunch. Get a bunch at once. That is ridiculously slow. Because of the long ass save. This is one of the only places where you can get. Uh, that chip, Airy Grab Star. It's literally exclusive to chip traders. And because the game saves every single time. Hopefully, you can put a shit ton of bug frags into the bug frag trader, that's all I gotta say. Um. Thinking about things. Let's fiddle with my deck a little bit. I guess I should just grab all the stuff that's around here. I need 20 more chips. Most of them are just like level 3 chips. They're like fairly easy to get. Scully, Whirl. Airspin doesn't even have an enemy associated with that. Where am I supposed to find that? Literally everything I'm missing is a level 3 chip. Literally everything. I'm missing Recover 150. I don't even know where you get that. Whatever 148 is. And grab back. 177, 179, whatever they are. I'm missing a little bit of stuff that I probably should have. fiddle with my... I want to build that deck. I think I've actually got everything I need to build that deck, because I think these were the things I needed. I wish I had more decks, damn it. crack at this one, but this time I have like a more formulaic... This time I've got a formula. Good place to read manga. I don't know.
I need more area grabs, damn it. So what am I missing? I need more lava seeds. I need a another lava seed. I need my area grabs. I'm just gonna jam in three area grab S's and fucking cry. They're not the right code. This deck works regardless of code anyway. Alright, so like, I made this deck. I'm gonna try and equip it. I'm gonna see if I can't make it figure it out. This is the deck. I like, tried to build the deck from memory, but I hadn't seen it since like, you know, I was a teenager. Super I don't need it right now. I do want to collect for the time being. Did I pass it? There is absolutely no way to gracefully sneak this in. Ditch collect, I can actually make something good. Another custom, basically. So, what do I want? I need chips. Chips are what I need. Let's see, I need that guy's card. Oh, yeah, I need to use, I need to figure out how to use this deck. This is like the worst possible time to figure out how to use a deck. Why'd I build this deck now? Right, so you fuse with fuse with what's his face? Wind guy. I already have like a bunch of element stuff. How do you use element rage? I'm gonna like save state and experiment a little bit. Double soul, gyro soul. We can do this. I had a lot of damage, don't get me wrong. So I get on a grass panel. I don't actually have anything I need. I got Scully just for damage. I didn't know that confused. I think I used Batoto. By the way, to actually answer your question on which um, how to read manga on the internet, I would use that to read JoJo. So I can use this to transform. 
and I can whiff this, toss this, toss this, and then use nuke. Like that, like that, like that. Didn't actually double delete them, frustratingly. It won't double delete in the S unless the enemies are in the same column. It seemed to do a lot of damage anyway. Okay, we'll double delete them. It's just that I have to. He needs lower HP. This deck. I remember this deck being really fun. I think what I do, I I know. I know what I do. I just remembered. I remembered how it works. All right. So this is what you do. I don't have fucking anything to transform with. Well, I can get this more cannon. I don't have any. I don't have enough. Yeah, I remember the trick. Double soul, gyro soul. Let's bust some viruses. All right, so the trick is that you use. Let's damage me. Good order. Use the lava seed from the back. Oh fuck! I killed them both. I forgot the lava seed shits on those guys. Alright, I've got air shoes so I can just stand on this. Alright, I'm almost there. I think I know how I remember this shit. I remember how this this is actually like a really bullshit deck. It's actually really fun. It's like a nuke deck. It's like a nuke deck. The only problem is drawing the right things. But it's like a crazy nuke deck. Alright, this is my lava seed. Alright, hold on. Transform. No. What's wrong with this? I need a. I didn't. Uh, my cust. My full cust. You use the lava seed like here. Fuck. And I killed that guy again. Probably. Not quite. Full cust is my weapon here. I got guard 3. I need that. It's because I took it out and put it back in. cool thing about this deck is it only has one fucking mega chip, and yet it's still like a really crazy potent deck. Not wanting the according to Keikaku. Translator's note, I can't figure out what this guy means. This is pretty much how this deck is supposed to work. That was a better way to do it, but you know. I'm just gonna run with this. This will kill everything. It actually didn't kill everything. You're supposed to throw Grass Seed on the full opponent side, and then back up one step and throw Lava. And then you can stand on the lava panel and use Elm Rage, and it fills the entire opponent's screen with um, fire type attacks, and they're standing on grass. That's the strat. I need to S rank these guys, and I don't think I can actually do that with this deck. It was fun to build, but like, fuck, I need to rebuild the other one. This hurts. I need to S rank this cacti. Fuse with this. Use that. Use this. Use that. Do 
And then we do that. What's the full combo? That wasn't it. I don't remember, damn it. There's a piece of this I'm missing. Watch him kill himself. Oh, he can't move because he got air. He grabbed him. There's a big combo. But the element range is attack range. I hit all of them, right? I don't need either of these guys. Grab some more things. I need both of these. I didn't get any seeds. Too. I don't have enough invis. Maybe. I just need my fourth invis in here. So there's a lava seed. And then I can just toss my Elm Rage. Like this. Man, I gotta ditch it for a while. It might be better versus bosses, though. I wanna go test it against fucking Cloudman. Because it might be better than my other deck against bosses. I don't know, my other deck is like hard to beat when it comes to fast deletions. I thought this deck would be really good versus viruses. But while it is, it's it's too slow and it doesn't require double it doesn't get double deletes. There's too many decks in this game that are just like build up a lot, like build up to one fat combo. Like Silver Bullet. My favorite character in part 5 was the turtle. I think he really carried the whole thing. You want a fun fact about part 5? The turtle has a name and the turtle stand also has a name, but they're not mentioned at any point during part 5. Turtle's name is Coco Jumbo. And the turtle's stand name is Mr. President. What did Sticky Fingers even fucking do? Ugh, I had such fucking. This deck has such potential. I need, like, more lava seeds, perhaps. But I don't know where to get Lava Seed K or Star. The Skellies are just literally there because I don't know what the fuck. Sticky Finger! The area grabs are the wrong fucking code. Let me look at my fucking deck here.
I'm gonna look up with some chip locations. Okay, I can get CC t uh, stars really fucking easily. And therefore I need to do that now. Okios is literally like... I don't know. He can erase you. And also he can make vacuums which sucks... which creates suction. Which lets him fucking zip around. And also he can punch you pretty hard. That's pretty much it. That's what it does. I'm gonna... I'm gonna disassemble this deck for a bit. We're gonna sneak back my like normal good shit into this deck. We're just gonna have an ordinary deck. Where are all the things I usually put in decks? I can't find any of them. There's that cussed sword. Or I'd add one of those. Let's not remove the Mark Cannons, because those are actually very appreciated. I need more Katana 1S. Katana Rama! Where the fuck is everything I used to have? What fucking chips were in my deck at all? I'm like just passing through like everything. I could put four mines in there. I had that S deck. I did have the two katanas. Get another invis in there. Get some anti damages in there for damage avoidance. Rather important for my strat. Get that copy damage in there for copying damage. Attack plus 10 is kind of cool. Fucking Neovari. If Neovari didn't have different fucking codes from Var Sword, I'd use it in every deck. I have Muramasa, I should probably put that in my deck, it's kind of good. I do have a Justice one. Shade Man is good. SB is good. Cosmo and SP is also quite good now that I have his PA. Sneak that in. Got that Delta Ray Edge. So let me get some of them S and C codes. Oh, I can get big noise now! How did that never occur to me? How did it not occur to me to get big noise? Where's Katana? There it is. Dude, big noise! I still got two fans to get rid of. Getting rid of those two fans to make room for big noise is literally exactly how I should do it. Oh yeah, there we go. Air hockey. Had a bunch of those. Kill this fire sword. I have regular Lark Man? That's not right. Switch to Lark Man SP. Kill one of my anti damages for Lark Man SP. Alright, now I've got my fucking regular ass. Ordinary fucking virus busting deck again. Where do I find the bat? Where do I find the bat? Batty. He's fucking everywhere. He 
he's everywhere. I want Batty EX though, I think. I don't know which one I want. Okay, if I go to Drill Comp 4, I can get Baddies in the normal Drill Comp, and Baddie EX is in the Vision Burst of the Drill Comp. The problem is I have to go to fucking Drill Comp 4. But hey, I need to go up there anyway because I need Gridman. I have to beat Gridman's highest rank in order to make him spawn in the overworld. Did I miss like an HP memory around here? I think I got it, and I think I remember the one. I can't fucking imagine where the HP memory I missed was. HP memories since there's four. I've gotta go through the whole list. Which one's Grateful Dead? I don't remember. Is that the one that can't die? I like the stand that makes it so if you go down, you fucking die. That was fun. I put fucking two long swords into my deck? What? When did that happen? I'm so not been paying attention. What the fuck? What did, the, what did I put them in over? Fine, Cosmo Man. Find him. I used that too early. No, the aging one. That one's fun, yeah. Give me Cosmo, man. Dickhead. Long swords need to go. Please don't block my path, motherfucker. Okay, cool. Cross slash is gonna work no matter what. How did I get fucking long swords? What happened? What fucking brain process? Hi, it's a long sword. No, it's two. It must have been while I was putting in the airhawks. I like looked away. Stupid. Very stupid. Just trying to figure out what was missing. I think I should use my other deck for this though. My other deck is really, really good for Navi busting. Beta, this is the highest tier of this guy. I'm dumb. I didn't take the full cost.
Invis, CC'd. We use both. I'm gonna whiff this. Alright, this should be everything I need. This, 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 this. Um, I did not think that through. Alright, this is fine. Nice pause buffer, Beth. Got that DS. So I think, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna actually do it. I think this will only go up to his beta version. Yeah. So I'm not actually going to fight him again. S rank against beta version gives you the DS chip. I need more fucking chip decks. I need, it's like three is the perfect number. They think two is the perfect number because it's like one's for virus busting and one's for fucking navy busting. And while I understand why they came to that decision, Jacket, Mega Man, execute. that's a really cool stand. That was like my favorite part. No, not Cheap Trick. Cheap Trick was Cheap, Cheap Trick was the Rohan one, right? That one was pretty great. Rohan is a pretty fun character. These are the bats. Double soul, search soul. Here comes land. All right, so it's very important to me to figure out what the fuck happens when I S rank these guys, and what the happen what the heck happens when I don't S rank them. Oh, Rohan Sensei. That's the that's the one I need. That is not only the chip I need, but it's the code I need. That's the one used for big noise. I only came down here for that chip. I can get the, the cacti guy too. Cactus guy. I think I need that, so. Not a big deal. There's no other important thing to get. That's like a good chip anyway. I should like just get a bunch of those. To be honest. Heaven's Door is so cheap. Like, if you actually, like, think about it for even 10 seconds, Heaven's Door is so cheap. Remember how he taught fucking... Koichi how to fucking speak Italian in one second? You telling me you can just fucking just, like, what, if you can, if you can just make someone have knowledge that they don't have, you can do anything. He could just write fucking Heaven's Door, like, he could just have, like, the fucking... Full not he could just grant himself omniscience. Eat, 
All horses stand is actually really awful now that I'm thinking back. I've been like spoiled by like later later. Why is that R? That makes me really nervous. I'm pretty sure those guys don't have a PA. I need just the bat, damn it. This is not a good layout. It's just a gun. It's not even as strong as a real gun. It's a gun that can shoot stands, which is its one advantage over a real gun. And also, I guess the bullets can curve, and I also guess that it doesn't use real bullets. Which are both technically really useful things. But it's just a gun. The stand is a gun. And then there's stands that, like, literally, like, can do anything. Wait, no, this is a this is an acceptable one. Double soul, search soul. Let's do it, lad. Got a first try. Alright, like the lady. I got a one in two chance. I shouldn't need two, more than two of those, but like in case I ever want to build the deck, it might be better to get three. Just so I have like a little bit of fallback. They're also a good ship, so like it would be kind of nice to put them in my deck. That's an important consideration. There it is. I need that asshole. You get the Larkman PA actually. Double soul, search soul. Here comes land. Not enough. I need the fucking hole. No way around it. I mean, I, there is there are ways around it, but I need the hole or fucking PA. Wait, do I have I have both of these? I could just get Cosmo Man. This would be a lot easier if I also had. Uh... Cosmo Man DS in my deck, but unfortunately, I haven't even run into the opportunity to get Cosmo Man DS. Now that I say that. Alright, let me see if this works, and then let me see if I can... Dude, imagine just being a guy who fucking wants to live a quiet life. Like a tree. And now imagine you're born with a stand that fucking creates explosions. The one I was killing earlier. Just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and find another one of that virus. Fuck. That's true, Heaven Store doesn't just work. You have to like look at certain things. You have to look at his manuscript. But like, you know, that's that's not that hard. Let's get someone to use their eyes. Oh yeah, Rohan could just ride Invincible on him. Can he ride on himself? Is that a thing? I don't remember if that's a thing. D 
Did he do that at any point? He could just write Invincible on like fucking... I don't know, Koichi. Gotta drop his chip. I mean, theoretically, he could try attribute to any. Um, theoretically, he could attribute any adjective to anything. He could just add like character traits to things. If you consider like invincible to be a character trait. Two more. That bat. I just need to S rank that bat. That works. This is theoretically a winning combination. I'm like hella cheesing this. I don't care one bit. He literally destroys all objects when he spawns. Guard 3 star is kind of cool. In fact, that's like a really good chip. I should get several of those. That's genuinely very good. What's the damage in this game? It's 150! That's actually really good! That's like a good defensive chip. I might be able to use that against Base XX when I fight him. Because that's going to easily get counter hit. Oh, I'm guaranteed to get this one. That'll get counter hits. Well, Rohan... What's, what's like a good example? Rohan, like, literally... Koichi didn't speak Italian. Rohan wrote, speaks Italian. And then Koichi could suddenly speak fluent Italian. Okay? You can just know things you don't know. If you can know things you don't know, then you can write in, like, knows the weaknesses to all stands. Knows, knows how to identify when someone has a stand, knows what the stand is, and knows what the weaknesses are. You can do that, if you can do knows Italian. I'm gonna get one more. Rohan could just write like people never want to attack me. I have a face that causes people to fucking never ever attack me. Or something. People can never bring themselves to attack me. That's a character trait that's him. Araki is constantly flying by the seat, his seat of his pants. You can just tell. <laughs> I have never given that a thought. Why didn't he just use Hermit Purple to find Kira? Maybe, um... Maybe cameras were in high demand. I'm okay with either of these that I get. Hammer Purple is a really hilarious power. It was pretty cool when he was pulling it out versus Dio right at the end. Wrapped his body in fucking Hermit Purple infused with Hamano or some bullshit. So even if time stopped.
only I have the power to rule the world. I mean, cool shit is one thing, but there's a certain component of it where it's just like, you know, if there's a plot hole, it affects people's ability to, ability to take things seriously. Man, maybe it just didn't occur to them. That's like the explanation for the hand. The hand is theoretically a really OP power for Okios, but it's just like, well, you know, maybe Okios is an idiot. Maybe it never occurred to him to use the hand in stupid broken ways. Wait, is there even anything here I need? I got the I got the low busting rank on the cactus. It's not the one I need. I need the super cactus. Cactus EX. I should be done with this area. Let me look at the HP memories to make sure that there's nothing here I need. Huh. I gotta look for this. I, f like, started to end finished JoJo. And I went back to reading One Piece every week, like I do. And it made me realize that, like, it's literally just, there's only a certain kind of manga that can succeed. Powers are interesting. Seedmoon was dangerous, but not really interesting. Um, White Snake was pretty cool, but I gotta say that I liked um, Made in Heaven more than I liked most Final Villain. Yup, there it is. I didn't know this existed. I must have done it before. Yeah, I know, fucking... I know the other shit succeeds, I was just fucking around. There's one HP memory. I need that Punchy's s rank chip. And I need the Aquarals, too. More of this. Unfortunately, the three things I really need to succeed are... Gimme. Custom 1, Custom 2, and uh... Collect. Yet, um, I can't equip all three of those at once. Like, it's literally impossible. Alright, can we just get the fucking hole? Thank you. I need both of these. Part 1, do you hire than anything? Maybe from like a personality standpoint, but even then that's... that's... I don't... I don't know. I already have that one. Let's get the other. Uh. Part 3 Dio is actually probably my favorite villain power. And not even him. Although, you know, Part 3 Dio is 
Part 3 Dio is probably my favorite, yeah. I also really, really like Diego Brando from Another World. Not to spoil anything. I guess I already technically spoiled a little bit. Diego Brando really caught me off guard with how much I loved him. I really liked him. He was like perfect. I need this S rank. I absolutely need it. Thing is, I'm safe scumming, but really what would happen is I would just do this over and over with repeated battles until I found it manually. So even though I'm like absolutely 100% cheating, my actual strat would be exactly the same, but take longer. Dio in part 1 is definitely very hammy, but he's not very menacing. I feel like Dio from part 3 is both hammy and menacing. I didn't like cars that much. Poochie is great. <laughs> Funny Valentine. Um, he's great. He's actually one of my favorites. He might actually be my favorite. Mm, hold on, I gotta think about this. Kira, I like Kira's personality the best. Kira's my favorite villain in terms of like personality. Yeah, Diablo, Diablo sucks as a villain, but, uh, what's his name? Dalpio. Dalpio is great. Dalpio was hilarious. Dalpio was absolutely fucking funny, and no one can tell me otherwise. Give me your fucking chip. Valentine had a cool personality, and he was a scary motherfucker. Give me the chip! The thing I really like about Part 3 Dio is that he plays the fight absolutely like as carefully as humanly possible, but like still loses. I feel like that's what makes the fight really cool. Is that literally he takes every precaution you can take. Oh fuck, that was it. <laughs> I re-rolled it. No, come back. That is. Has some credence. Like, the more I think about it, the more I think that the Jotaro totally could be autistic. That's not a bad theory. Oh, I got both codes from that fucker. What's in the center here? Hi. Kaboom. Poor, poor little program. It's in End City. Just chillin'. I like how they're just literally flying. I guess they're just supposed to be jumping around. I never read the Part 3 manga. But like in the anime, like Dio and Jotaro are just literally flying around. Dude, Jotaro actually has hella autism symptoms. Wait, End City is where I was headed. I got lost. Apparently, once you get to end game, there's some new NPCs here. Does he have fucking? Does he have no issues making friends? I don't know. He doesn't seem to have that many friends. 
I guess there's fucking Koichi. He and... He and... They... What... Araki literally made a point to say that, um... Jotaro and, uh... This is the fucking high cannon PA. I needed that. And the... Mark... The... <laughs> this wide shot one. And Kekti Ball. This is a cool deck. Araki literally made a point to say that Kakyoin and Jotaro would not have been friends if not for their stands. Jotaro wasn't like friendly with those girls, they just followed him around. Probably was going through a phase. Jotaro 17 is young. I'm like a lot older than Jotaro. I remember Sprout Tower. That's such a weird area. What an odd gimmick. Just like, hey, there's a bunch of Bell Sprouts and occasionally a Hoot Hoot too. I'm really nostalgic for fucking Gen f Gen 2. It came out at just the right time for me to fucking be hella into it. I mean, obviously I beat the fuck out of Pokemon Red and Blue. I've probably beaten Pokemon Red and Blue. I'm probably in the top, like, like 0.1% of people who've... I guess I already got that one. So there's an HP memory here in that computer. I've definitely, like, it's gotta be on the internet. Alright, one of them's in Nebula Hole Area 6, which I can't get to yet. I definitely got... I definitely didn't get one. You guys can't even see this, I bet. I got all of these. I think I got that one. Make sure there's no more Nebula ones in here. Thing, the Lingo Blingo episode was one of my favorite episodes of the whole anything. It's one of my favorite moments in the entire JoJo body of work. I forgot about that shit. The fact that, like, they, the fact that they did not get clued in that it was a fake Jotaro at any point is fucking rib-crushingly hilarious. I got Factory Comp. I got the NCD one just now. I got the Internet 3 shop.
It could be in Silo Barry too, actually. I don't think I ever fully explored that. Jotaro is pissed off. It's fucking awesome. Teme. Oh, that would be a boss fight there. Yes, the credits for the Wingo Wingo episodes were extremely good. Jotaro's theoretically got a doctorate, yeah. Got like a fucking PhD or some shit. Too, and I can't find it. I said run all the way to the right. I mean, left from the start, but all the way to the left. Which is the way I went. There's one somewhere that I'm missing. Yeah, he gets a doctorate at the end of part 4, and then he has it theoretically somewhere in... I don't know. He's like a marine biologist. He like literally like went to the beach and looked at a starfish. have all these, damn it. I'll like figure it out. I'm missing one. Obviously I'm missing two, but one of them I, is in Nebula Hole Area 6. I'm like pissed off that I don't know where it is. I need to like explore the whole internet. Alright, what do I currently need to do? I have to get Wide Shot 3's other chip, which is in the deep web internet. I have to get Cacti Ball 3's other chip, which is. I don't know where. Well, I might find out. It is in end area 1, 2, or 3. That's a good place to go anyway. Wind God Comp and End City. Where is Wind God Comp? Is that just this one? Is that this guy right here? No, it's the top one. Yeah. Well, this isn't bad. This will get me to end area. I need the cactus. Um, the Joestar family initially gets stands because. Dio has Jonathan Joestar's body, and he stabs himself with the arrow. And then somehow that kind of goes to Joseph and Jotaro and, and Holly. But 
but then Holly, they kill Dio, and that, like, removes that from Holly. But for some reason, Jotaro and Joseph keep theirs for literally no reason. Holly's cute, mostly. Jonathan wasn't a stand user, but Jonathan's body... Jonathan becomes a stand user when he gets hit by the arrow. But, like, it's not... It's not Jonathan anymore, it's the arrow. Um... I don't know if stands are passed on genetically, they seem to be. Great operating. Damn it, I need that. I need to S rank this cactus guy, which I'm doing right now. Joseph's hermit purple. The initial plan for Dio, which actually makes sense, is that Dio has um, a combination of all the Joestar's stands. So it's like he has the psychic powers of Hermit Purple, which is why he can track them, and he has the like Star Platinum, and that's why it's actually that's why it actually makes sense that Star Platinum can stop time. But that's like never mentioned and possibly abandoned. There's a reason it's supposed to be the on Onaji Type Uno stand. Onaji Type Uno stand. There's no good reason for why Joseph is not an immortal vampire. Technically, he's alive until the series ends, so, like, you know, he might be immortal. Technically speaking, he makes it to the to the reset. Dio had the world long before he realized it could stop time. That's stated. What do I need to do right now? And Quake 3. I, I had an opportunity to kill that guy. Wasn't he in here? The kid who beat Kira, you mean, what's his name, Hayato? That kid? Is that his name? I don't remember. Dude, we'll literally never learn who that was in Josuke's flashback. I kind of like that, it's mysterious. We will literally never learn who that was. Here we go. My time does not matter. I like how I grabbed both invises and then the fucking full cost, so I actually have to use them both. I've gotten better at that. Bad. 
Um, part 8 is definitely not about who's in the part 7 flashback. I mean, in the part 4 flashback. It's just a different timeline. None of the relevant people are around. It's really complicated to explain who's who in part 8. But I don't want to spoil it. But it's really complicated to explain who's who. Gather and chips. Moonblade 3 and Katana 3. Those are both... I can get both of those at the top of the fucking tower. Alright, I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna go to the top of the tower. This is not the fastest way to do this, but there were some HP memories in here and I want to make sure I got them both. It does loop back somehow, but like... Parts... I wouldn't say Part 6 had good writing by any means. Part 6 was fun and it was funny. But literally like a third of Part 6 is just really confusing. And weird. Kid, Mega Man, execute. So where is this supposed to be? Gargoyle Comp 1 and Gargoyle Comp 2 both have a blue mystery data that has an HP memory. I could have missed one of them. I would go beyond that part 6 is ending sucks. I would say it's one of the biggest downer endings I've ever seen. I need both of these guys. Let's do it, land. No, oh, it's a little bit too slow. Wow, look at that. Look at that post. Everyone read that post. Oh fuck, damage. Everyone look at that post and read it. Good job, Lion. Blade 3C. That was a that was a chip I had a lot of. That was in my Cloudman Cosmo Man deck. That chip was the basis of some of my bullshit. that fucking Moonblade guy. I don't need C. I don't need Moonblade 3C. I just idly want it. I want to be able to back up. Like, I want to be able to fall back on being able to build that deck. Yada yada dawa. Wow, I didn't put big noise in my deck at any point. Nice one, Beth. That's useless. Tech plus 10 is not doing a whole lot. Cosmo Man and his chips are kind of not that great. I mean, they're good. But do I need them?
Do I need all these area grabs? They're only like mildly useful. I'm just gonna put this wide shot in here because it's S. Looks kinda weird, but. I just the feature is the Capcom one, right? I thought they did announce part 5 of the anime. I'm fairly sure they did. The thing about big noise is that it literally cannot miss. If you use it from the center of your fucking side of the screen, the only way it can be dodged is if enemies, like, are on your side of the screen. Or off the screen entirely. Did he really fucking disappear? Please tell me that I hit him somehow. Oh yeah, I need to not S rank. Well, actually, I have the fucking... Fairly easy to not S rank. It's fairly easy to not S rank. Part 5 is like the same length as Part 4, isn't it? Part 6 is about the same length too, and Part 7 is pretty short. Then Part 8 is, who knows, mystery. There we go. Still L? Yo, whatever. I don't need to see that badly. I mean the Katana guy. There he is. We can do this. That's almost good advice. There's literally no downside to skipping part, like, both of those. Good job, lad. You can just jump straight to fucking part 7. You don't need any context for part 7. And part 7 is really good. I mean, you should read it all anyway, because all of JoJo is good. I think for the most part, each part is better than the last one. I would tentatively say that I've enjoyed each new JoJo more than the last. It depends. I like have a really hard time placing part 5 on my favorites. I obviously like it, but like, I don't know. I guess you can technically start with part 3. Jorno's Adventure, literally, like, you could read that at any point. It has no relation to anything. The only thing that has a little bit of relationship to is Koichi. And I guess Dio.
I just need the fucking katana guy. Wow, that's a spoiler. Mikey Millwall coming in to spoil every part. Literally contribute nothing except spoilers. Okay, now I'm pretty sure that wherever the HP memories are, I got them. Alright, so I have an extremely good chance of getting it here. pick that up. So I never need to enter that area again. Unless I ever want to go back and get some Katana 1S's, which I probably don't. I think part 3 before they get to Egypt is kind of like hit or miss. Maybe a little mediocre. But once they get to Egypt it's pretty great. This is Battle Network 5 DS Double Team. It is a port of Battle Network 5 with enhanced uh, features. So far it's mostly the same. There's a little bit of enhanced features that I'm literally not using. Alright, I like need to- I'm gonna make a list and I'm just gonna mark off everything I know I have. Then this will be fairly easy. I got all the shop ones. So I can just take those out. Check the gargoyle com. It's one in katana com. I guess I should check there since I'm here. Pretty sure I got it. Jacket, Mega Man, execute. The DS one is the only one with voice acting. Literally, like it's impossible to talk about this game without bringing up voice acting because it's very out there. It's very alarming. Yeah. Yeah! That was his key eye. Alright, it's not here. So not in Katana Comp. Not in the end area one shop because I sold that out. Both the factory comp ones. I'm pretty sure I got the one with the fish. Got the shop. I guess I could check the squirrel again. 
Dex's HP is where one is. I'm gonna double check that. Decisions. Photorealistic games, the thing on the fucking, the game is a, uh, the game is, it's a GameCube. It's kind of weird, Lan is wearing rollerblades literally everywhere the entire game, and that's never ever referenced at all. I always thought there was something a little odd about that. It is not acknowledged at any point by anyone. Right, it wasn't Index's HP. One of the locations is Main Comp 1 in Scilab. It's sad that I'm about to check. I'm literally just looking for HP memories. There's one in this tree. I'll check here and I'll check the squirrel too. I'm gonna feel real silly if I never got the one here. Your squirrel, if that's what it takes. I was right about to bring up the tongue one. That one always gets me. Squirrel comp 8. That's where the HP memory is. Yeah, the skeleton isn't inside you, you're inside the skeleton. I was really hoping it would be here. I'm still young. I could be in my 80s and still make a video game. I'm gonna go to all mine too. Because I have a sneaking suspicion it's there. So I checked the tree comp, and I also checked the squirrel comp 8. Now we're going to take a quick check to- wait, I should like check Higsby's better. He just said Higsby's PC.
That would have to be something here. One of these. Oh, that's it! We got it! I looked at the fucking- Oh, Thank god. Alright, back to our regular scheduled programming. So the only one we're missing is in the deep undernet, the deep nebula. Thank Christ. I thought I didn't find one there. But then I looked and I couldn't find one. Alright, so we need Scully 3, who's an undernet. We need Airspin 3, which I have no idea where it is. We need Sidebub 3, which is an end area. We need Volts 3, which is in the deep, deep final boss area. Windows 3, which is, I think, in the final boss area. Toy, Toy Bomb 3, which is in the uh, final area. Red 3, final area. Recover 150. I, like, missed that one somehow. Silab Area 1 GMD has it. That's probably a decent place to get it. If I put on Sneak Run. Why did I take off Bug Stop? Press one of your made of atoms. Press one of there's no way you could have free will if you're just a bunch of atoms. Jacket, Mega Man, execute. I totally subscribe to the belief that free will is an illusion. Don't get me wrong. We still effectively have free will. Effectively is the fucking keyword there, though. I made up a bunch of atoms, damn it. I'm like mostly atoms. Actually, I'm mostly empty space. So one of these has a 1 in 4 chance. Or rather, it has a 1 in 2 chance of being a chip, I'm pretty sure. And that chip then has a 1 in 4 chance of being a recover 150. And sadly, that's like one of the- Oh! Score! Alright, there's another one down. So we're missing 11 chips. These are the ones that are easy and fun to collect. So what's 148? 148 is panel grab. Where do you get panel grab, and why don't I have it? It is literally only in Scilab area. And only with the Merkland door closed. What a weird chip. I can get that in a minute. Fifty one is Grab Banish, which I what I thought it was. Unfortunately, there are a lot of chips where you can only get them as green mystery data and only when on a certain difficulty setting. I think they could have done that a lot fucking better. I gotta be on level 1 for that too. 177 is Life Sync. Which is only in 1 or 2. 179 is Navi plus 20.
which is in... Ooh. That's an RN3 bonus panel. Alright. Wait, is that annoying? How do I get to RN Area 3? From RN. Very short walk from there. No. Yes. That is the fastest way, sadly. It's just too long to get around the internet in this game. This is really annoying, but the alternative is to open up two medium difficulty, which is really time consuming. So there's a 1 in 4 chance when I start this mission that the bonus panel will be... Have I kicked your ass sufficiently? Battle routine set. Execute. I think I only need to beat him... Hmm. He only goes up to Alpha. So my layout is not very good right now. I pick things in the absolute worst order. No big noise for me. GG easy. So when I start this mission, I think I've already done it enough times that I never need to do it again. <clears throat> I need to get to a bonus panel. That's the closest bonus panel. Um, I can get to that on turn two. I have to do three battles. No, no way around it. They're pretty easy battles though, so... I find the thought that I'm going to die no matter what I do vaguely relieving. Emphasis on vaguely. I find the thought that I'm on a- I'm a fucking- I'm a fucking speck on a rock flying through space. Extremely relieving. When I remember I'm just a fucking speck on a rock, it's so easy. It's like nothing I do really matters that much. Got a bunch of one turns. Let's see if our 1 and 4 paid off. Wow! First try. So, do I need that? I mean, plus 20 is pretty good. I don't know if I should like bother to get a bunch of those. This is absolutely by far my best chance to get a bunch. I'm going to feel pretty silly if I decide I want more later.
If I get to the other bonus panels, one there, and I think there's one more over here, yeah, then I get two more. I think I don't care. Alright, so literally the only thing I still have to do is go into the deep web. Let me confirm that really quick. Don't wanna fucking don't wanna go really far for no reason. Okay, so we need Scully, that's an internet. Airspin three. That's one I should actually look up. Oh, please tell me that's not the only place to find that. Nebula 6 green mystery data. Well, that's great. I can't get there for a while. Internet area 2 green mystery data. Okay, that's quite easy. Yeah, okay. Alright. Head to the deep web. Roger! I get a hankering to play Mega Man Legends 1 like once a year. I get a hankering to play Mega Man Legends 2 like once every 10 years. Remember Serenade? Remember Sarah from Mega Man Legends 2? What was the other one? Lena? Something like that. I don't remember. There were two of them. The brown lollies. Remember Mega Man Legends 2? Remember Child Nudity? Remember seeing Roll Naked? Remember seeing Tron Bond Naked? Did you know the guy who designed Tron Bond drew porn of her? Reflect on that. Motherfucker, go away. I don't need you right now. I probably can't run, can I? Oh, I can't run. Dying won't be so bad. Dying might be really bad. I don't want to say it won't be so bad. It could be really awful. But being dead won't be so bad. I'm not afraid of being dead. Oh, I found it. Swamp. Wide shot through you. Being dead's gonna be pretty much the same as being not around was before I was born. I already did a whole bunch of not existing, so I'm not afraid about more not existing. Didn't get it. Let's try again. Watch out 3U, Airspin 3J, Gundel Soul 3M, and get him one star. Get him one star is actually um, quite useful for the snake deck if I ever decide I want to build that. This is the way I would do it. I don't want to die, but sometimes I think about all the years that I'm still going to be alive and I get a little overwhelmed. Not like overwhelmed like I want to kill myself, but like, that's a lot of years. That's stressful. You know? Got it. Cool. Another one knocked off the list. So now I'm going to take off that sneak run, I think. I'm going to have to go on a Nevi hunting spree. Jacket, 
Mega Man, execute! I need that. I need that. I need that. Let's do it, lad. I should have merged with any one of these chips. Motherfucker. I forgot that that was a thing. Oh. Get in the back row. such a baddie. Alright, fairly easy to grind this. I don't want to mention, dude. That sounds like shit. Oh, I got it. My worst fear is being in a scenario where being dead is preferable to where the scenario I'm in. Dementia is one such case. My worst fear isn't even dying, my worst fear is being in a scenario where being dead would be better. Like being in a sufficient amount of pain. How many times have I read that message? I just, like, I could, I just had a flashback to reading it like 10 million times. Let's go back to Nebula Base when you're ready. What do I need all here? That's like several things around here. Definitely the skull guy. There's the skull guy. Volts is from the bee. There's the wood nose and there's the boy bomb and the red fruit. Those are all four of those. One seventy seven 144 and one, I mean 148 and 151, I have to close the gate to Merkland. 